right now let, let us look at this question yeah a concave lens has a focal length of magnitude 20 cm an object is placed 10 cm in front of the concave lens okay now calculate the magnification of the image and state whether it is upright or inverted okay first of all uh, what we have seen here this is using a, a concave lens it is using a concave lens so what is a concave lens how does it look like concave lens is the thin guy uh, it's a thin guy this thin guy concave lens surely is diverging it will diverge a light it won't focus the light okay it diverges a light so if it is a diverging lens then the f must be negative uh, so the focal length 20 cm must be negative f must be negative because it is a diverging lens. and for this diverging lens uh, only one characteristics of image it can form which is wood that's why i i told you to remember the acronyms yeah this this is the acronym yeah so remember about this uh, converging diverging uh, it's very useful yeah? because uh, uh, in a glance we can straight away know the characteristic of image already okay for a diverging diverging lens okay diverging lens is a concave lens okay the thin guy no matter where it's the object only one kind of image is formed which is virtual upright diminish it is the diminished one not the virtual upright magnified it is the virtual upright diminished okay that's concave lens the diverging only from one kind of image which is virtual upright diminished so if um this is the one lah so if um uh, he says that uh the question asks a state whether this image is upright or inverted of course is a virtual upright diminished yeah uh this one virtual upright diminished so it is upright lah so this this image is upright another thing is we know uh, it is a virtual image okay virtual image and then it's diminished uh, virtual upright diminished so diminished means the magnification must be the value of magnification must be you know magnification must be magnitude of this must be diminished less than one uh, so uh, this value magnification of image should be value less than one okay and then uh, it is uh, of course it is uh, upright upright means the magnification is uh, positive to get positive and less than one the value i think i can guess the answer already so focal length is negative because diverging and then uh, now he said this uh, 10 cm okay okay this this is the focal length and this one is the object distance u uh, 10 cm in front of the concave lens so uh, this 10 cm is smaller than the 20 cm uh, so u is uh, less than focal length okay so because the last question asks you to draw a ray diagram to show the formation of image this ray diagram you need to draw the image less than focal length lah. Uh, just like this one lah. the object is uh, less than the focal length it, this is also important so, yeah so now um okay we want uh, we can imagine like this yeah this is the object okay let's see this this object this object and uh, this is the object so it forms a virtual upright diminished image form virtual upright diminished image ah uh, you will see something like this lah a smaller version virtual upright diminished yeah smaller than the object this is this this is the image this is the image this is the image it is a virtual image virtual image means it, it is formed opposite from the refracted ray yeah not at the same side it's opposite from the refracted ray upright upright and then diminish smaller than the object this is what we know yeah? what we guess okay um so uh let's find out the magnification of image okay so what how to find uh, just use a formula magnification equal to negative v over u because we don't have the height of object uh we cannot use the hi over ho yet yeah 
because uh, we only have the object distance. So, to find magnification, we need to find the image distance. Then we can use negative v over u to find the magnification. So, to find the image distance, we need to use another formula 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to over f. So, just substitute into this equation. So, we have the object. Okay, this object distance is uh, considered to be positive. Yeah, positive because the object is this object is same side as the incident ray side. So, that means the object distance and this is the object distance is positive because object, remember, uh, object distance compared with incident ray. Same side is positive. So my object is same side as incident ray. So my object distance is positive. Okay, so I should put uh, here 1 over, uh, this one is uh, positive 0 0.1 meter. Okay, 0 0.1 meter plus, I need to find the V. So what's my focal length again? My focal length is uh, negative because it's the diverging lens. Concave lens. Is a diverging lens so f is negative okay negative 0.2 2 so i can find my image my image is uh so from the calculation i will get uh, my image distance is uh negative um zero point zero uh, 6-7 meter okay that's one uh, centimeter yeah 0 0.067 meter okay so uh, I get a negative sign negative sign means what what does it mean by this negative sign negative V negative V means this is a virtual image and this is a kind of virtual image and it is formed. Uh, where is the virtual image form? This virtual image must be opposite from the refracted ray. Uh, it must form uh, opposite, uh, opposite from the opposite side from refracted ray. Okay. So you know you must first draw the incident ray and refracted ray first. Yeah, object. And then you have incident ray, the light can pass through refraction, uh, refract, refracted ray on the other side. So where is the image form? Image it shows negative value, V is negative, means uh, the image is opposite from refracted ray. Uh, not at, at the side of refracted ray, but opposite. So that means over here. Lah. Yeah, I guess it correctly. The image is over here. And uh, so here... So the image distance over here, this V is negative. Yeah, this V is negative because it is opposite from. Okay. So uh, now I can find magnification. So I just substitute the V. Okay. Magnification equal to. This is a negative zero point zero six seven. Okay, negative zero point zero six seven. That's V. U is uh, 0 0.1. U is 0 0.1. So what do we get? My magnification equal to so uh, negative times negative. We get positive. Uh, get positive. Positive what? Positive what value? Uh, I get magnification equal to positive uh, 0 0.67. Ah. So what does it mean? Is my guess correct? Yeah. You see, M is positive. My guess is correct. M is positive. Upright. And the value is 0 0.67. Less than 1. Less than 1 means this uh, is diminished image. Okay. So this uh, uh, here, I got uh, V M is positive. Mean is it is an upright image. Image is upright. And uh, this value is uh, less than 1. Then at less than 1, that means it is a diminished image. Uh, it is a diminished image. Okay? So, yeah, you get a smaller upright image. Yeah, smaller upright image. It's a virtual image. Ah, so that's how you get, yeah?
less than one, correct? Boot is a boot. Now, uh, that's a magnification. Now, um, yeah, positive m is net upright. Yeah. So say whether it is upright or inverted. Uh, it is upright lah. Uh, of course, it is upright. Yeah. The answer it is upright. Because the m is value positive. Okay. Now and it's also diminished lah. You diminish image because the value is less than one. Now, uh, what's the height of image if the object height is a 1 cm? So, I can find the height of image uh, using the magnification formula also. So, my magnification just substitute inside. Magnification equal to a positive 0 0.67. Okay, 0 0.67. So, height of image over height of object is a... Uh, uh, from 1 cm, I change to meter. Change to SI unit lah. Uh, 0 0.01 meter. So what is my height of image? So my height of image, I will get. Uh, I will get it. Value, yeah. My height of op, uh, okay. By multiply, I get the value um, which is zero point zero zero, okay, times. This one times go go to the other side times zero point zero one. That means go two side together. So it's zero point zero um six seven meter. Okay, it is also value positive means it is my hi is a positive means it is upright lah. It is upright upright image. Okay, because my h is hi is positive. Okay, so 0 0.01 that means uh, um, 0 0.067. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, meter. So now, um, I got my height of image already. So what's the next step? Uh, catch a ray diagram to show the formation of the image. I'm going to show, catch a ray diagram. So how do you draw? How do you draw? Huh? Okay. Uh, so where is my object? My object is the uh, 10 cm away from the lens, but the focal length is 20 cm. It means my object distance is less than focal length. Yeah, less than focal length, 0 0.1 less than 0 0.2. That means I must draw. Okay, uh, this is the lens I draw. The object must be less than the focal length. Do you see that? My object is uh, in front of the focal length, not not after the focal length. Is uh, before the focal length. Okay, before the focal point. So my object is over here. My object is uh, not object. Uh, my object is not over here. This is wrong. If you put if you put the object is over here, it's wrong because uh, my my object distance is less than f. Yeah, object distance. Uh, my uh, my object distance is less than f, less than focal length. So my object should be in front of the focal length, focal point. Okay, don't draw as you like. Ah. Uh. So okay, let's continue. So my object is in front of focal point. So how to draw the image? Uh, so remember this one, yeah. Remember this one. Okay. Uh, we have three rays. Uh, power. Uh, parallel go to focal point. Focal point go to parallel, and then optical center unaffected. Okay. Let's look at the first ray. Uh, but this is a uh, Thin guy, thin guy is always diverge line, yeah, diverge line. So you see the light diverge away, diverge away. See. So uh, the first ray, let's look at the first ray, uh, parallel to focus. Okay, before you draw, make sure uh, you draw one line to represent the lens. Okay, the center line it represent the lens. Okay, uh, don't uh, must use one straight line to represent the lens. So all the light uh, refracted from that same straight line. Then. And then also make sure um, between the you know between the focal length and the center curvature to focal length must be equally spaced. That means you can make it two cm, two cm like that. Yeah, don't make it uh, unequal. Okay, that's that's the thing lah. And then object must be in front of the focal point because it did mention object distance less than focal. Length. Now 
Uh, let's look at the first rib. Parallel first, then go to focal point. Uh, so uh, the first ray is this one lah. Uh, yeah. Let me draw the first ray. I use the red color. So the first ray is parallel. And then where? Where do you think? Uh, it will diverge. It, it will focus or diverge. Uh, do, will you focus to the focal point for a converge, uh, for a diverging lens? This is a concave lens. Concave lens is diverging. So concave lens is diverging. We focus to the focal point. Can you draw like that? Focus to the focal point. Uh, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's a diverging lens. Diverging lens is diverge from the focal point. Diverge from where? Parallelite diverge from the focal line before the lens. Uh, diverge from this, from this point. Okay. So if my eyes, if my eyes is over here. Okay, what I can see is um, I can see this light uh, come from a straight line uh, behind the lens. Come from a straight, yeah. This this line come from a straight line. Okay, that's the first ray. Now the second ray, second ray is a focal point. Then go back to parallel. Okay, so how? Second ray. I use green color. Huh? Parallel. Then go back to focal point. Uh, no, I mean par uh, fo focal point, then back to parallel. That means uh, I the the third ray is a parallel, then go back to parallel. Okay, go focal point, then back to parallel. So the the second ray is uh, the the light from object going to the focal point. Actually, you can see this light going towards the focal point. You see that uh, going towards the focal point, that not yet going to focal point. It just Towards the focal point only, yeah. Towards the focal point, and then go back parallel. Go back parallel. Uh, okay. But actually, it's uh, trying to, uh, it's trying to go to the focal point. You understand that? Trying to go to the focal point. Actually, yeah. Then diverge parallelly. So, uh, what I can see if my eyes is over here, what did I see? I, I thought this light come from a straight line. Okay, it come from a. I thought the light come from a straight line. Ah, understand? I thought the light come from a straight line. This light, I thought it come from a straight line. Remember to draw the arrow. Ah, you must have the arrow. Ah, arrow. You must have the arrow. Ah, ah. Don't just draw the line. You must have arrow also. Ah, arrow to show the ray. That is the that is the second ray. Now the third ray is going through the optical center undeflected. That means the third ray, the blue one, going through optical center undeflected, which is this one lah. The blue one. Let's go to the blue one. So the uh, the object, okay, the light from object go through the optical center, then and the undeflected, undeflected. Ah, uh, so I uh, must draw the ray also, ah, uh, okay, deflected. So if my eyes is over here, uh, what did I see? I thought that this light come from, come from a straight line. Ah, uh, I thought this, this light come from a straight line. So what I can say? Ah, uh, so these three rays, ray one, ray two, ray three, all they, they um all. All of this ray seems to originate from the same point, from the same intersection point, which is here. This is the one. Uh, this is the. This is the image form over here. This is the image. This is the image form. Okay, the intersection point. Look at the the black line, the black dotted line. Look at the black dotted line. So where is it intersect? All three rays, they all intersect at this point. Ah, so this point becomes the image. That's it or not? It becomes the image. So, yeah. So, my eyes will assume that all the, all the rays come from this position. Ah, from this virtual up, right? Diminish. Okay, so that's all for these questions. Okay, see you in the next one. Thank you.